So my name is Kevin, you know it now. Um, so I'm CEO and co-founder of uh, NoSquare Learning. We have developed two products, one called NoSquare Learning and the other one called NoSquare Academy. I'm going to explain you what we do and how the two products are different. So first, let me ask you a question. Who has already enrolled to online trainings here in this room? All right, so a lot of you. Okay, so you have probably been on an LMS. An LMS is a learning management system. You can create, uh, build, collaborate, manage, and share your online courses on this uh, beautiful type of platforms. So before I start, let me give you some figures. Companies with an average of 500 employees are only doing online training. So this means companies with lower, uh, lower than 500 uh, employees are actually not really into e-learning, and that's what I'm trying to obviously change. 20,000 is uh, 20,000 euros for 500 employees for one year, which is really expensive, trust me. And 10,000 euros is how much it costs to deliver a MOOC online for three months for 500 users. It's, it's totally expensive. So that's why 38% of companies having an LMS today want to change. So what are the problems? Well, the first thing is the learning methods are just passed. We want to change that, and I'm going to show you how. Secondly, the return on investment is really low for training centers. That's also what we're solving. And then the third one, expensive solution. That's why we apply social economy to online trainings. So the first beta tester we've had was the National Lottery. A big uh, client, 5,000 employees. Uh, we didn't even have 100 before. So what they tried was, and I'm going to show you, Adaptive learning. Adaptive learning is the opposite of traditional learning. Traditional learning, you have 10 lessons, you do the first one, you pass to the second one, even if you failed, which completely sucks. Trust me, I'm a teacher and I hate that. Adaptive learning, it completely adapts to the, to the students. The students' preferences, you don't like to read, fine, we'll give you videos. You don't like videos, fine, we'll give you MP3s. And according to your success rate, you will take a different path. Every user will take a different path to finally arrive at the same skills that they acquired. So what are the benefits for the teachers now? Because, of course, it takes time. You personalize it. You have to put videos. Then you have to put um, um, PDFs or anything else. This means you can spend more time managing the students, saying what's wrong, what's good, make groups, do tutorials. And lastly, they can analyze the progress, and, uh, which makes for the students greater assimilation and a higher success rate. And that's what we did for the National Lottery, because the 500 employees really had to understand how their new product worked. Because if you sell a product that you can't really sell, there is no point. So then, in terms of return on investment, we allow training centers to invite their prospects on the platform, which is, I think, normal, but not for my competitors. E-commerce, so we're looking to build a marketplace for September. We need, and uh, so I come to this, we need developers, of course. Uh, so if you're, there are developers here, we're looking to, for developers. We're busy in Tournai, so we're not in Brussels, so if you can come all the way. And then e-catalogs and profile pages, just like on Facebook, obviously, uh, we're not going to change uh, what works. So if you have understood, what we're trying to build on NoSco Academy is a complete ecosystem based around knowledge. We want to connect teachers, students, companies, training centers, schools, and even publishers all in one place. And believe me, we can do it through what we call a campus. A campus is your own private learning and teaching environment. So a company would have a campus, a training center would have a campus, and Imagine, training centers could even contact companies inside the platform and say, hey, I can teach you English. How many employees have you got? And in one click, all the employees receive the online training, which is great. So the business model, we've got the bespoke solution. Bespoke solution is we tailor-made the solution for clients such as SNCF. That's NoSco Learning. NoSco Academy is obviously the ecosystem, so subscriptions monthly. Then we've got the commission that's coming soon in September. And then we do extra services because big companies, they don't know everything. So what we do is we also create content and we help them uh, manage their projects. So as you can see, in 2015, we created the product. And earlier in January, of course, after uh, celebrations, we started selling. And look who we have got here online. 
So we've got SNCF, National Lottery, Thompson Foundation in London. We talked about going international. We hired a, res a reseller in London for the culture, of course, and because he knows everything about online learning. So thanks to him, we also have Sonosan. Sonosan is a company, a startup in the UK. They just signed with 60 schools in the US, in California. So this means we will be in 60 schools, which is great for us. So the market today, our three biggest competitors are 360 Learning in France, Edocia in France, Docebo. But they only focus on companies with about 500 employees, which is not where I want to go, even though those companies come to me for what I offer. And if you know Coursera, Udemy, what we're building today, what we're trying to do is a mix of an online catalog and an LMS where trainers could simply share or sell their online courses. So like I said, where do we stand? 2015 released the, new, the first version in March. In September, second one, then beta testing with the National Lottery. In 2016, we just uh, started selling and uh, we got our first traction. So from January to, uh, to February, 900%. And from uh, February to March, 450%, which is uh, a lot for us because we didn't add, uh, well, we never made money uh, last year. And so this year, we're looking for uh, uh, fundraising. Uh, we would like to hire and then create this marketplace, which everybody is waiting for. And in 2015, uh, 17, going international, um, well, we don't know yet where, but uh, we're waiting for mentorship because we can't know everything. Um, so uh, myself, then the team, of course, there is a team behind. Ludovic is uh, the developer. And Amandine, right over there, is the sales manager. So thanks to her, now we can survive. Uh, so what we're looking for tonight is investors. So please come and see us after. We're only looking for 100,000 euros, which, which would really help us to conquer the, the Belgian market. We're also looking for developers, app developers. Um, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So you can come and try NOSCO after for during the drink, and we can discuss the project. Thank you. Thank you.